Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a custom staircase. So here we have one of the basic generic ones from the previous video. Uh, so we're going to go to architecture, stair, and we're going to go to the level two, my floor plans. So instead of selecting run and choosing one of these presets, um, I'm going to go to this button right here that says create sketch. So when you select create sketch, you're going to see a slight change up here. We have boundary, riser, stair path, and a couple of draw tools. So what boundary is, is you're going to draw the left and the right side of your staircase. These are going to be symbolized using green lines. Uh, risers are going to be black, um, and the stair path is going to be blue. So let's just start off with the boundary. So I'm going to create a nice curved staircase. So I'm going to start here at the second floor, and I'm going to, I'm using this other staircase as reference. So I'm going to create this curve, and then I'm going to come to about here with my other curve. Um, see here, I'll go like that. So it's a little unique shape. So I'm going to use a line as my mirroring plane. So I'm going to use, so I'm going to use the mirror tool. I'm going to uh, left click on my line, hold control, left click again to select both. Press the space bar. Select my mirror plane and there I have my new lines. So for the left and right side or right and left side. So the riser is going to be again symbolized by the black line and you have to create one at the bottom and one at the top. So I'm going to come up here, select my nodes, there we go. So bottom and top. Stair path is just the direction in which it's going. So I'm going to select the line, go to the bottom, go up to the top, and click, and we can see here that the line is blue, uh, your riser is again black, and boundary is green. So that's just one way to know what lines represent. So I'm going to go to riser, select line. Here the gray text is telling me I have two risers and I need 16 more. So instead of drawing in every single line, I'm going to use my offset tool here in modify and change it to 11 inches. Oops. 11 inches wide, is that doing that? Okay, so zero, and then 11. Okay, 11 inches. So I'm going to take my cursor, make sure I'm on the right side of my riser. I can see that by the dotted blue line, and click, and I'm just going to continue along until I have all the risers I need. I have four more left, three, two, one remaining. There we go. It doesn't matter if your riser lines exceed your boundary line. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't come into play. So I'm happy with what I have here. So I'm gonna hit the green check mark. I can go into my 3D view. And whoops, my staircase is going the wrong direction. So if I select my staircase, go to edit sketch. Whoops, actually let me back out, I went too far. All I have to do is select flip. So once you select your stairs, I'm going to click flip, and it now flips the staircase so that way it's correct. And I'm going to hit my green check mark to confirm, and it will now add in the railing uh, to my staircase. So as we look here, we have the custom staircase that I built. Of course, it's a little thin here, but uh, besides the point, and it adds in the railing. Again, you can always choose to change the railing to something else. Um, the railing is not continuous, it breaks the rail, usually uh, occurs at sharp angles. Okay, um, so all that's saying is in some cases, depending on your design, the railing might have, it might break because it can't, the program doesn't want to create the angle. So for example, like right here, how the railing comes up. Um, and one thing I forgot to show in the last video is when you select a railing, here we go, uh, you're going to see these blue arrows here. It's tough to see. There we go. What this is doing is it's flipping the railing. So right now, the railing to hold on to is on the outside. So if I click on those arrows, it's going to flip the railing so it's on the inside. Okay. Some railings don't have that because it doesn't matter. Uh, there's not an actual railing to hold on to, but depending, um, 
you will have to change that. Okay, railing is not continuous again. Thank you. Uh, it's going to hit the red X, but it looks like it did a pretty good job. So that is how you create a custom staircase.